Oh, hey there. I, um, I wasn't going to do a video on this. Um, it sort of didn't seem right to, but of all people to convince me, Zara convinced me to do a video, so I'm doing a video on this, I guess. Unknown if you know or not, um, The Great White, Scary Larry, Moses, passed recently. Now, it is sad because a lot of people uh, really like him, you know. He's got a lot of people who, you know, befriended him, love the guy and whatnot. And like with a lot of people, because of the type of person I am, <clears throat> I need to usually be a bit shafted in one way or another. But I too, when I started my channel and that, really looked up to him, you know. He's, he's a man with a, a lot of life experience, you know had a lot of life experience and eh, what can you say now I know one of my biggest rivals you want to call that she's going to be exceptionally cut up by it because they really did get close and um, you know I, I feel sorry for her that she's going to grieve that way you know I feel sorry for the family and I have empathy and sympathy um, but yeah I wasn't really going to do this video because we weren't really that I hadn't spoke to him in over a year, and the reason why I hadn't spoke to him in over a year is because, <laughs> of all fucking people, Proving Demon said to me, Riley, stop going to his video, stop commenting. Dude doesn't like you, don't like you at all. And maybe that's true. I never heard it from the horse's mouth, but probably true. But at the start, you know, we got on well, and, you know... <laughs> He helped me try and debunk my dinosaur, you know, put some new batteries in. He even got a dinosaur himself, which uh, he couldn't get to bloody get it to, to do anything. I think any other person that's got a dinosaur to do anything is Irish Steve, of all people. Um, but yeah, he ended up giving it to, to his granddaughter or something, which is kind of cute and sweet. So this video isn't much, you know, in terms of I can't sit and go, oh, I'm so close to him and I'm going to miss him loads because I haven't spoke, spoken to him in you know, over a year, so, you know, but obviously it is sad, and, you know, he has a lot of sessions, he has a lot of uh, experience, a lot of accounts, he's, um, what's the word, he's credible as well, you know, he never, like, exaggerated and stuff, as far as I'm aware, it's certainly the fakest stuff, he just did sessions raw, you know, no jump cuts and things, um, he had his own belief system, which he validated uh, with, with his sessions and that, you know, um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's sad, it is sad, and, you know, in some ways I'm glad that I wasn't uh, that close to him, in, in, you know, I hadn't spoken to him for over a year, because that would make it a lot harder, wouldn't it, you know, so that's that's good, but I know a lot of you thirtless out there go to his channel, as well as mine, and you, you know, you comment and you wish him well, and, um, you know, you watch his stuff, and it's gonna, you know, it's gonna affect you guys too, you know? Being that he was into the paranormal, I think it's fitting that we should talk about the paranormal a little bit as well. Because his last video he put up, he said that um, he had a friend who came and visited him semi-recently. He didn't know the reason why this friend visited, and he also had COPD and the like, but, you know, they're good friends. And then that friend passed on recently after that visit. Which kind of poignant why he visited, I guess. Well, anyway... Moses, later on, you know, um, saw his friend in ghost form, saw an apparition of him. He wasn't transparent, he was, you know, full. Uh, you know, so yeah, which is um, <laughs> an interesting thing, which I'm going to come to in a minute. Um, and only not long after did Larry, Moses, whatever you want to name him, the Great White, decided to depart after seeing Apparition. Now, there are loads of accounts out there. I've heard from Thirtless, your accounts of, I don't know, your, your parents or whatever, or loved ones that, um, you know, are, are near death's door. They see someone before they pass. And my own mother-in-law, my wife's mum, she too had the same thing. She was on dialysis, slowly going, if that makes sense. We knew her time was up, pretty much. We'd all said our goodbyes, and we were all going to come in and visit one more time, but... The nurse said, apparently, she was just sitting there resting, having the trouble breathing like she was, you know, just waiting for the time, if you like. And all of a sudden, she suddenly sits up bolt right, puts her eyes and goes, Oh, are you here for me, dear? I have to go now. 
and then just closed her eyes and did the fucking death rattle breath and she was gone. Yeah, so, you know, my wife has had an experience. Now, she had to have a tooth out and she can't deal with dentists, so she went to the hospital to be put under to take a tooth out and there are other people there having the same procedure. And, you know, they went in, you know, and then when it was her turn, she went in. And then someone else went in after it, and someone else. Now, they were coming back, like, half hour or whatever, having the same procedure. She wasn't coming back. She was taking, like, an hour, an hour and a half. And I started to get a bit worried, so I asked, said, everything all right in there? Yeah, 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 look, you know, just... Two and a half hours later, she resurfaces, and she's not, like, all with it. She's like, ooh, bloody hell. Uh, but she's had the work done, everything's okay. And, um... She's maybe discharged for like half hour. The, the doctors and nurses wouldn't let her go. They're like, no, no, you've got to stay here, you've got to stay here. Like, why? You know, why? Everyone else can leave. You know, people were going in after her, but coming back before her, like, you know, and they were leaving, you know. What? Well, they wanted to observe it, but they didn't say why. And then afterwards, we, we had to sign a disclaimer or some shit just to let her, let her go because she was getting fed up. Well, we think, we're, we're, you know, just reading between the lines, they fucked up somewhere, put some, too much anaesthetic in, or they lost her on the table, because Natalie said she had a most peculiar dream. She was walking down a tunnel, apparently, and Pete, who's the dead nephew, was there waiting for her. And he's like, oh, hello, what are you doing here? And they're chatting away, like, and he goes, it's, it's like, not your time, your husband's waiting for you, your daughter's waiting for you, you've got to go back. Go back? But I've only just got here. Uh, what are you talking about? You know, you have to turn around and walk back. Oh, okay, you know, she, so she does, and, mm. Did she die on the table? And that's why they're freaking out, like, you know, making sure she's all right, bringing her back, and that was what was going on in her mind, or, or her soul, or, or however this all works, because no one really knows. Well, Larry knows right now. he got some answers, I suppose. And I, I have a theory that when we die, I don't think we're going to get all the answers. We're just going to get the answers that are relevant to us. I don't think we're going to know every single secret of the universe, you know. But we'll get the answers that are needed for us. So... If you want to put in your comments, share your times with Larry, feel free, or not, it's up to you. Um, I wish you well, big whale, great whale. I'm sorry, you, I don't even know if you did actually say that, that you don't like me um, or whatnot, but I'm, I'm, I'm sorry we, uh, you know, we, 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 you know, split in different ways. It's amicable, there's no, you know, animosity or anything like that, you know, it's just, you know. I was just told by Prima Demons that uh, Duke doesn't like you, don't don't go in. So I thought, oh, okay. But, you know, I've had that with somebody else who, you know, I, I was really nice to, and behind my back, they're nice to my face, but behind my back they were, you know, oh, I suck my ass, and, you know, fine, I won't be nice to you then, you know. So, you know, but, um, it, it's still sad, you know. I Like I said, I did look up to him when I first started my channel. I, I, I did want to hear his experience. I wanted to learn from him and that, and I did learn. Um, quite a few things from him, you know, and, and stuff, you know. It's kind of sad, you know. So, you know, have you any tales of someone greeting you, or, or tales of your own mother or father or someone, loved one, you know, them being greeted before they go? Because it seems a common thing. Not all the time, necessarily, but it seems quite common someone greets you for you to step over or something. Whatever that is. Peace, love, empathy, thirdless. Not a great video, I know, and um, like I said, I wasn't actually going to make it, I just put a post up. Oh, one more thing, one more thing, then. This isn't like a jab at anyone, uh, as per se, because someone will say, well, you watch such and such's video and you're just having a dick. No, look, guys, he's a paranormal guy, okay, and I'm sure he has no objections to you doing spirit box sessions, trying to call him or whatever, okay? That's fine. I, I don't have a problem with that, believe it or not. <gasps> but all do you do with celebrity... No, 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 no. I don't have a problem with that. What I have a problem with is releasing the footage that soon. If it's not about the views... And it is about the, you know, you want to get some last words out of your loved one or whatever, or someone you look up to. You can release that much later on, can't you? When the family have had a bit of time to breathe, can't you? Otherwise, you're very crass, and I think you're cashing in on it. Not cashing in, that's not the word. But you're capitalising on it, you know. Uh, it's never going to make a million views because he's not exactly the fucking most famous fucking dude going. But you know what I'm trying to say? There's, there's no need to release that footage. Do your spirit box and, you know, try and reach out to him and get some last words, hopefully. But release the footage a bit later on, you know. Just just a small bit of respect. I mean, that's, that's just what I'm saying, you know. I mean, that's up to you. Do what you fucking want, you know. I ain't going to do a video on you and call you out or anything. I promise you. It's just... You know, I think you would um, be that way inclined because you have a lot of respect for the dude, right? Anyway, take care and um, 
I'll see you real soon for that, that god off long ass bluff session video coming out. It's really about two hours long, I'm sorry. Take care, Furless, and um, remember, you never know when your time is up. My time could be in about five minutes' time, and I just don't know. Or hopefully I'll live to a ripe old age. All the best, much love. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you then. <laughs> <laughs> Another one gone, eh?